Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with UFC middleweight Michael Bisbing, who's fighting October 26 in the main event at UFC Fight Night 30 in Manchester, England. Michael, tell us how honored you feel to get back in front of the home crowd there in England for this fight. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I really can't wait. I enjoy being an international fighter for the UFC, but um, obviously it's always nice to fight in front of your home crowd. I haven't done that for several years. I haven't fought in England, sorry, in Manchester for four years. And, you know, the support of the British people has really defined my career in some ways. So, you know, I'm really, really excited to go back. I'm proud to be main event. I've got a top opponent in my Munoz. It's going to be a fantastic event. I can't wait. And, you know, you mentioned the last time you fought there. That last time you were there, you got fight of the night honors. It was a second round TKO of uh, Dennis King, I believe. Would you say that having that crowd backing you just really gets you fired up? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm used to uh, being the away fighter. Obviously, I fight in America a lot. So, you know, they, they cheer for their own guys, and, and, and they should do that. So a lot of the time I get booed. Um, so I'm used to blocking that out. But certainly, you know, when the crowd are as vocal and, and, and uh, positive on your side, it certainly does help. And, and uh, sorry, three three times uh, I've fought for the UFC in England. I've won fight of the night. So I think it certainly does help. Um, I'm going to look to channel that energy and, and uh, turn it into something positive. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, you say positive, but yeah, a lot of the things going on with this fight already, uh, you know, ahead of it, you you and Mark Munoz have traded a lot of verbal jabs, you could say. Uh, you know, I don't know who struck first, but I wanted to know your yeah. response to, to him calling, uh, well, saying... Well, 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 let me stop you right there, Heidi, and let me just say this. We may have exchanged verbal jabs, but I'll tell you one thing. We won't be exchanging physical jabs on the night. You know, verbal jabs are about as good as he's going to get for Mark Munoz because the guy couldn't burst an egg. He couldn't pop a wet balloon. Listen, the only thing that's going to get popped is his face. So, you know, he's going to look to turn it into a wrestling match. You know, I'm going back to England to give them a good old-fashioned fist fight, which is what the hard-working people are paying to see. Mark Munoz is coming in. He's no doubt going to, you know, he's going to quote some self-help book. He's going to be talking about Jesus and stuff like that. People are interested in that. They want to see a fight. Yeah, for me, that's what you're going to get. For Mark Munoz, his best chance is of boring everybody in the arena, including me, to sleep with the bullshit that comes out of his mouth. Me, I'm looking to kick his ass as soon as that bell starts, and I will prevail, believe you me. And what is your response to him saying that you have pillow fists? Yeah, it's the most unoriginal. I, obviously, he spent a lot of time trawling the underground <laughs> for compliments about himself. He trawls the underground looking for people to say how good Mark Munoz is. I couldn't care less, less what they say on forums. That's what some idiots online like to say, and he thought he'd regurgitated it, uh, which, you know, which he did. He was very unoriginal. I, you know, I certainly don't have pillows for this. Ask any of my fine partners, ask any former opponents, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll all, uh, I'm sure, gladly tell you that I don't have pillows for this. And if Mark Munoz thinks that, then he can have one of those pillows after I knock him out. Yeah, you know, you mentioned also that you feel that he'll turn this into a WrestleMania wrestling match. Is there any part of you that believes that he'll try to stand and trade with you? Listen, he's going to shoot from the belt. As soon as that bell goes, he's going to try and stand. And listen, you know, he's worked with Thai boxers. He's worked with the boxing coaches, I'm sure. You know, they all stand there down at Rain Training Center and think they're the shit. And they'll pat each other on the back and say, good job, good job. We're really good. Well, as soon as that case door shuts, the fight starts, you're going to realize that he's not sparring. He's in there with one of the best in the world and he's getting his ass kicked. As soon as that starts, then he's going to go back to what he always does, which is wrestling and boring everybody to death. And Donkey Kong, don't even get me started on Donkey Kong. My God, this is mixed martial arts. I refuse to lose, and I refuse to even put myself in the same sentence as somebody that refers to their style as Donkey Kong. I'm a mixed martial artist, and that shall prevail on the night. And he can save the Donkey Kong for the thugs in his gym. You know, I love what you guys are doing here. And for your part, you're really trying to exploit his mental weakness, being that after his loss to Weidman, he had gone through this period of depression. Uh, do you see yourself already gaining like a psychological edge with the talk that's going on before this fight? 
this win over him do you feel that this win will put you back in that race for title contention I mean you were right there uh, you had that loss to be Vitor Belfort but you came right back with the win over Belcher where do you see yourself fitting in in the landscape of the division right now well when I get the win over Munoz I will still be in the place I've always been which is always in title contention I'm one of the best in the world and it's simple as that it's period you know I might be coming across as a bit coffee right now but it's just where my head's at right now. Simple as that. I'll be in the same place now as I was before, right at the top of the pile, ready to take the title. Awesome. And, you know, I remember we had you on the show a while back before Weidman became the middleweight champion. And you had some choice words about him, like he was as interesting as watching paint dry, you would said of his fight. So I was curious yeah. what your thoughts were of him becoming the UFC middleweight champion. And how do you see that rematch going between him and Silva? I think it's absolutely amazing that Chris Whiteman is now the middleweight champion. I really do, because it's going to make my job so much easier. Um, you know, I, I, I think Whiteman wins the rematch. I think Whiteman wins the rematch by, uh, by uh, boring everybody to death and doing what Mark Munoz does and cuddling some uh, Anderson to death. And then I, I beat Munoz and I take the title off, uh, off Whiteman. You know, yeah, he's, he's a hell of a fighter. And, uh, no, he really is. And, you know, good for him. You know, I congratulate him on, on his performance. He had a great first round and, and he made Anderson pay the price in the second round. You know, uh, in terms of me taking the belt, you know, stylistically, Wyman's a better matchup for me. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, I will be rooting for him in that matchup. And when I take care of Munoz, which I fully intend on doing and putting an exclamation mark on it, I'll be happy to face Wyman and take that title. I believe I can beat Wyman. I think his style plays right into my hands. But obviously, I'm not even thinking about that right now. I'm thinking about Mark Munoz and uh, and destroying him in front of my home crowd. Well, fantastic. We want to wish you all the best of luck. We really appreciate your time. We know that you're very busy. So uh, I'll let you get back to your day here, Michael. And thank you very much for joining us on the MMA Fight Corner. Not a problem. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody, all the UFC fans, my management, Paradigm Sports Management, all my sponsors, all the UFC fans and uh Please tune in October 26th, Fox Sports 2, one of the best fights of the year for sure. And Thank also, you. Uh, can you tell people where to find you on Twitter? Yes, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter and uh, you know follow my day-to-day -day shenanigans, you can uh, follow me at Bisping. Fantastic. And Instagram at Mike Bisping. Okay, great. Well, thank you again for your Muchas time. Muchas gracias. And de nada. De nada, de nada. <laughs> no problem. So good, my homie. Peace out. Okay, I did. All right, Michael. Okay. Be Goodbye. well. Bye-bye. Adios. Adios.